for uh, okay, anyways, let's get everyone what is good. Welcome back to the channel with your two cores, Machiavelli, and today we're back with another three builds. And again, this is a pre recorded, um, pre recorded build. So, um, this is actually a special one because I finally made the plunge and I bought a laptop. Um, I have no clue if you guys noticed this, but the reason why my, my, um, my videos have been sparse, sparse if that's the word, or I haven't been uploading that much is because I've been killing it with school and I just haven't had the time to come home. And the thing is, my commute is an hour and 30 minutes. So by the time I get home, I'm exhausted and I don't really feel like making a build, so I don't end up happening. So I went ahead and made the plunge because I knew this is what I needed for my future, also with my Sims future and my Sims future, no, with my, um, YouTube future slash actual career future. I need a laptop, so I invested in a good one. So now I can all I can do three things. One, I can actually upload because um, to upload I had to to upload videos I had to like go all the way to the library to do it. It was a struggle, but thank God um, I actually did it. But um, now I don't have to do that anymore, so I can upload now. And then I also found a laptop where I can actually play The Sims on, so I can actually create some stuff for you guys. So um, the lack of content should not be a problem anymore, and I could communicate now. I can answer comments now because I had no other way to stop coming back again, coming home and um going on my um my desktop to find not my desktop yeah go on my desktop to reply to comments now i can open my laptop i can watch some tv i can multitask and i can play the sims so very happy so again um th this is actually a test so i'll be making this build most likely because it's like what it's three o'clock right now i just finished taking my dog for a walk i'm exhausted i didn't sleep all day so i'm gonna go to bed most likely I'm going to be building in class tomorrow because we don't have any, we, it's, like, it's like a work period tomorrow and my group has finished our work. So we have nothing to do tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to make a build. And what I want you guys to do is leave a comment down below and tell me if you guys can see a difference in the quality. If it's good or bad, let me know because you guys are my true critics. So I just want to know because I'll be using my laptop to make tomorrow's build. So that's quite exciting. So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think of the quality. Also, this mic is actually my brother. My brother bought a snowball. I use a Blue Yeti and um, he bought this one so I'm testing it out for him so let me know if you hear any difference in the voice quality from my other video so this one um, if it sounds better let me know if it sounds better if it sounds worse let me know if it sounds worse let me know because if not I'll tell him to take this back and buy another mic because again he it's a, it was a freebie gift and he chose this one for some reason so yeah just let me know again uh so yeah you guys have, you have you guys have a little bit of homework just it's just it's a critique it's not that hard but anyways how have you all been i feel like i've i feel like i haven't recorded in a week it actually has been a week it's been actually a week and a few days since i recorded i actually haven't made a build in a long time it's been a while um and i kind of feel rusty if that makes any sense i missed it i missed you guys i miss talking to you guys i miss socializing with you guys but i'm telling you guys school has been hectic um i'm taking four classes i know four classes what it's not that bad but listen i have four classes and those four classes should have been like and the thing is though those four classes are like one class like they take one class and divide it by two wait no take okay pretty much no no my bad so pretty much take one course and um cut how do i say this i'm pretty much doing one course and one whole course and like half the time so yeah it's a lot of work we're getting back to back assignments i have a, i like last friday last week was terrible we had four assignments due that week it was it was hectic it was it's something else i can't even but anyways this week is a bit lighter so that's why i'm thankful but again i kind of want to get uh, like you know get a little ahead so i'm gonna be staying back um tomorrow so thank god i have my laptop now so i can you know do this record for you guys and then i just i just missed it i miss recording i miss playing actually fun fact i have been playing though i did um this weekend this weekend i just needed a break from everything so i i actually ended up um i should upload this weekend but i didn't and what the reason why is because i was playing the sims 4 and i and i if you know i, I don't really talk about this but i don't really play the sims 4 that much like personalized because i don't know i feel like um like i said i'm a storyteller and i feel like if i if I make a Sims 4 at Let's Play, right? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. But anyways, um, if I make a Sims 4, you know, current household, then I feel like I'll put a bunch of storylines in it. And then I'll feel like, oh, I could use it for like one of my LPs. And then I'll feel like I'll be using it. I don't know. I just feel like I'm putting all my creative outlet into like my LPs. I don't really have that much of you, you know, time to do a current household at the moment. But um, this weekend, I did this one thing. It's called, okay, I call it Love Island, but it's not actually Love Island. I just put like a bunch of single people, Sims, in a world. And I had, um, I had the, 
what's it called mod i have the slice of life mod and then um i just had the sims go there and interact and i had a little booby traps of like romantic vibes up and i just want to see like who would get with who what happened and bruh it was so drama filled like bruh oh my god <laughs> it was so drama filled like there was this one girl this is one guy named um um deshaun and bruh he got with like i don't even know how it happened he got with he got with a guy and five girls it's 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 insane i'm sorry it was a lot of fun though but if you guys actually want me to do something like that let me know below i think it'd be a lot of fun just putting your guys' sims in the game and seeing who falls with who who cheats on who who argues with who that'd be fun but yeah let me know in the comments down below but anyways today um i have two things to talk about i can either one continue with my current household story that i keep on forgetting to do or i can get back to the friends topic so i think since today is a wednesday i think we can handle deep so i think today we'll do friends and then tomorrow i'll do current household how's that sound sound good and then friday we'll do shout outs yeah i think i'll do that so um so today with friend actually no today we're gonna do current household because i actually don't have a friend thing to talk about let me see which one Ooh, let's talk about fake friends i told I th okay so i know we've talked about fake friends and i think i told you that story about um me not liking this guy but me not like you like me and this other guy not getting along you know we tried our personalities didn't match but there's that fake friends and i'm talking about this other set of fake friends i feel like that fake friend is like it's not like a fake friend it's just like a friend that the relationship is fake but it's like it's, tra it's transparent, you know? It's, like, not behind your back. This fake friend is, like, it's not transparent, and you think you're cool with the person, but you're not. And they tell sh they talk ish about you behind your back. We're talking about those ones, because I'm pretty sure everyone, not everyone, but I hope not everyone, has went through them. And I've been through my fair share of people who I thought were my friends, but actually talked behind my back. So let's start talking. So um, this is actually, I tell you guys, going back to the darkest moment of my life, middle school. So... Back in middle school, I again, I, okay, so what happened was, middle school life was actually pretty good in grade six. Grade six, it was good, and then, like, I was a part of this gang in grade six, not gang, but, like, this group in grade six, but then, like, the person that kind of kept everybody together moved away in grade six, and so we all kind of, like, scattered into our own place, trying to find, like, our own new, like, home. Have you have you ever felt that before, where you guys, like, a, you're, like, you're in a group with a bunch of people that you're actually chill with, and then, like, one person leaves, so it was, like, kind of, like, the glue of the group, and then everyone else, just, there was, like, no other glue there to attach everyone together, so everyone just scatters into, and finds their own way with a different group. That happened, and I just, I just couldn't find my place, so grade six was fine until um, the guy moved, and then grade seven is when my my life just started going downhill um but yeah in grade seven it actually wasn't even that bad in grade seven i think grade eight grade eight's the worst one in grade seven though this is where this is where well no we'll, we'll talk about grade seven another day great grade eight is where we'll talk about the fake friend so anyways i had this one guy i actually gotta name his name because there's so much of him in the world that i i highly doubt everyone's gonna find him if you're listening to this then f him because i don't like him at all but there's a guy named zach he was in my class um he actually was what happened was um in grade seven like i told you guys before we had a, i had a group um i found my place thank god with a people in my classroom and we made a group it was um me a cruelly cool guy named Brian, a guy named Jamal, oh my god, flippin' freaking Timothy, and that was that was pretty much a group of four. By the way, I despise I, I despise Timothy with a passion. That's a that's a story for another day. But um, anyways, so um, and so that happened in grade seven. And then going on to grade eight, um, we added another person to the group, and his name was Zach. Oh Zach, and the thing with Zach was he was dating, um. A girl that lived like okay there's this girl named Alyssa. she lives across the street from me um and <laughs> i grew up with her um i was like one of her first friends when she moved here and so they ended up starting to date and so i was like oh so i saw so i pretty much saw, so they started dating in grade seven and so i pretty much saw him all the time at Alyssa's house and everything right and so pretty much um he kind of moved into our class in i think the beginning of grade eight he moved into our class and so we kind of accepted him into our group and we were chill it's like hey yeah a new friend and i thought we were cool because we hung out like after school because he like said he went to Alyssa's house and i was outside and we would hang out sometimes but anyways, i thought we were cool and so so anyways if you're so, so again i start off I, I start off the grade eight with like in a happy place thinking i have some friends with me i have my gang everything's good and then um 
Oh my god. And then um one day, I think it was like October, one day, October, um, my friend Jamal comes to me, he's like, So yo, it's like what? So you know Zach's talking sh- behind like talking ish about you. I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, Zach's talking bear ish behind your back. I was like, What? Like this came out like this came out this came out of left field. Cause we were like it was a recess time. We just finished eating lunch, we're packing up to go out, and we're like walking, and then like literally he's in front talking to Brian. And I was just sitting in the back talking with Jamal, and Jamal just has a noise, like, you know, you know um Zach's talking bear ish behind your back. You know, he's like he's talking about this and that and telling you this and that. I'm like I was like I was shook. I'm like, I thought me and Zach were cool. I thought we were friends. Like I knew we weren't best friends or whatever, but I thought we were cool, you know? But no, I, I find out that he's he talks about me behind my back, he calls me names, he's like he's just been a straight excuse my language, but a straight deep. Like honestly. He's he's been crude and I I was so hurt and I was so pissed off. I was like, yo, like tell him because if you wanna talk about my back, then come say it to my face. Like I'm right here. Say it to my face. Pop off, son. I'm like, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I was so amped. I was like, oh my god, because I went through some other shit. Oh, excuse my language. I went through some other stuff with a with a. Okay, he's not even a fake friend. My enemy, Timothy. I went through some stuff with him. And the thing is, Timothy and Zach are actually close friends. So it kind of made sense. Like, oh yeah, so you two conspiring against me because Timothy hates my guts. And I guess, I guess Timothy come like converted Zach at this point to not like me either so whatever story goes on um i confront him about it and he has nothing he has nothing to say he's like oh you know i'm sorry what this and that oh like you know i don't know he's just talking he's just, he's just, he's just talking some bs to me about how he's sorry and how it was just a spare of the moment and just what i thought and all, all the other bs i'm like okay hey, cool we'll squash it still haven't talked to, i like i stopped talking to him i think that's where everything started going to hell i think after that i started like doubting who were my real friends and who were not i think after that because like i said before i thought we were chill and then that happened and then i don't know i just felt like in the group it was like two against one because i because again timothy did not like me again if you guys want to know who Tim, that's another story for another day timothy did not like me and then zach didn't like me and it's a group of five so it felt like you know i was suffocating in the group so i kind of detached i kind of like detached myself from the group at that point because i just felt like it was so negative and every time we would hang out i felt so awkward sometimes like there was this one time oh my god i remember this one time i felt like i think like i think i said before it was one of the darkest moments and i had a, like a mini i don't know i just i just i i'd say I panicked but i just it wasn't a good time but anyway so this one time we were at indoor recess and then like we got a pack of cards all five of us in the group and then timothy was sharing out the cards and he only shared out four deck well he he only shared out four like we're playing um we were playing crazy eights no i thought it was crazy eights i don't remember we're playing a card game and he was sharing out the deck and he skipped me totally skipped me he shared out every one of his cards but mine and i'm like i was like am i gonna play and he's like next round we have too many people like come on believe we have too many people you can't play this round it's like he started attacking me i was like i have like i don't and everyone's like i don't okay and i i i i, I, can't, I can't speak right now because i'm bringing back this is bringing back bad memories bad memories but yeah it was it was a hard time because again i i felt so left out if that makes any sense i felt like so alone because they were just sitting there playing and having fun and laughing and i'm just sitting there on the sidelines like hurrah yay that was a cool move whatever and so i guess i said before after that i just detached myself from them and then it got even worse because i started hanging out with some other people again like again uh, it's like it's like it's like, it's like a, i was like a, I, was, I was ripped away from a, like a piece of a group and now i'm like floating trying to find my way to another group and so i found another group but that group wasn't any better that group was, i think it was even worse because at least with the other group i had some like actual friends in brian and jamal but with this group i was kind of like the outsider you know i was just like you know that you know that annoying like piece of thread that just won't go away but then you just leave it there because it's not bothering you that's what i was with this group i was pretty much that like leftover person that no one really no one really cared was there so no one really said don't come if that makes any sense and so i still remember one time i still remember one time we were playing tag i was like we used to play manhunt with this group uh we manhunt was a big thing with this group so anyways we're playing manhunt and i was playing and recess ended and no one caught me and i was like wait is manhunt done like that's why so i was like i was still hiding you know like waiting for someone to come get me and then recess ended and then I went back and I was like, wait, wait, I was like, yo guys, I won. And they're like, oh yeah, Malik, we forgot. I was like, 
<laughs> like I know it wasn't a big deal, but it hurt. It hurt a lot actually. I think that's when like I, I'll say my self esteem like lowered to like a point of no return. Like I said, it was it was a mess, and that kind of and that happened multiple times. Where I remember this other time where they had a party and I was excluded from the party. They didn't invite me to it. I remember that part. Oh jeez, middle school, middle school. I feel like I said I was a follower in middle school. I was I was a kid trying to find its place and I never found my place. And when I did find my place. It just, it just, it always ended up messing up. But anyways, I just saw ahead and thought, and I don't know. I, I don't know why I showed you. I have no clue I shared that story with you guys. I thought I'd go ahead and, ch- oh, my dog. Sorry. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, I have no clue why I shared that story. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this build, whatever it is. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Of course, if you guys want to go ahead and leave your, if you have any fake friend story down below, leave it down below. I'm curious to hear it. Anyways, guys, I'm out. This is peace. Bye. Later. Have a great day. Bye, guys.